We're good to go? Yeah. All right. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Chain Reactions. This is Kendall. Yes, and this is Chelsea. Hello. And we are doing the Love Dare experiment. We are on day 10. Love is unconditional. It's supposed to be. I feel like God's love is only unconditional. Human's love is conditional. Always. This is actually our third attempt at doing this. Yep. But this that is the, the furthest we've ever yeah, made. Yeah, we've, we've never made it this far. So we're breaking into new territory. That wasn't me, that was yours. Mine's on mute. Alright, let's get started. Day 10, love is unconditional. God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. I look like my belly's poking out really bad right now, but it's... You look beautiful. Mm. Wow, that is the first time since this challenge has started that you said that to me. That is not true. That... I said you always look good. I... No, that was I have... This is the I... first time since this challenge has started okay. that you have told me without me fishing. I love you, Melissa. You know, I just... don't agree with that. But Kendall, we... when did you say it? Please. You look beautiful. When did you say it? Has anyone told you you're beautiful today? You used to say that every day Finish when we were together. Has anyone told you you're beautiful today? I don't remember what I used to say. It's been so long no. since I used to say it. That's what you say, no. Oh, no. Wait, ha no. Well, you are. There you go. You used to say that to me every day. If someone were to ask you, why do you love your wife? Or, why do you love your husband? What would you say? Why do you love me? Because mm, you're my baby daddy. Whoa. We're honest, right? This is supposed I to be I am the father of your child. Same thing. We don't say that baby daddy It's quicker. Stuff. It's easier. I'm tired. Okay. Is it 10? It's 10. You are the father of my child. That is why I love you. That's what you would say about me, too. I'm why would do I, do I love my wife? Well, my fiance, because you never gave up on me. Because I take care of you like a baby. And you see potential in me that I don't see. I do. And you encourage me and lift me up when I'm in a hopeless, dark place. And I'm grateful for that. And I take care of you like a baby. Yes. Most men would mention their wife's beauty, her sense of humor, her kindness, or her inner strength. Remember, I said oh, you're I unbreakable. That might you talk about. Before. They might talk about her cooking, her knack for decorating, or what a good mother she is. Well, oh. Those all apply to you. Women would probably say something about their husband's good looks or his personality. They'd commend him for his steadiness and consistent character. They'd say they love him because he's always been there for him. He's generous. He's helpful. But what if, over the course of years, your wife or husband stopped being every one of these things? I can't help it. I have to do Would, it. I just have to do it now. I'm sorry. I'm just, okay, go ahead. Would you still love them based on your answers above? The only logical response would be no. If your reasons for loving your spouse all have something to do with his or her qualities... And then those same qualities suddenly or gradually disappear. Your basis for love is over. The only way love can last a lifetime is if it's unconditional. The truth is, lasting love is not determined by the one being loved, but rather by the one choosing to love. The Bible refers to this kind of love by using the Greek word agape, pronounced agope, agape. It differs from other types of love, like filio, friendship, and eros, sexual love. Both friendship and sex are an important place in the marriage, and of course are a big part of the house you build together as husband and wife. But if your marriage totally depends on having common interests or enjoying a healthy sex life, then the foundation of your relationship is unstable. Which is why we are withholding from sex till we get married. He made me noodles the other night, y'all. And I almost had to send. He don't make <laughs> me food. 
ever. Like, I don't remember the last time he made me food. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I do make a, a nice no, bowl of ramen noodles. It was, yeah. It, it was subpar, but, um, how can a bowl of ramen be <laughs> subpar? I'm just saying. See, I almost the, let him have it. The trick is to get it boiling and then cool it off with cold water. You know, that way you can eat it fast. Yeah. I, I like I like that trick you taught me, but um. Yeah. What is this word right here? Phileo. I don't know. I said to like. I don't know. It's supposed it, to be the um. Phileo and the eros. Greek love for friendship. Okay. Phileo and eros. Are more responsive. I'm probably saying that wrong, but. Okay, phileo and <laughs> eros are more responsive in nature, and could and can fluctuate? fluctuate based upon feelings. When someone says, "I've fallen in love with you." It is filio and eros love. These are fickle and can change depending upon circumstances. It is important to recognize that it's possible to allow yourself to fall in and out of love with multiple people throughout life. That's why we should guard our hearts from others. <clears throat> Guarding it for our spouse alone. You can also fall in and out of love with your own spouse. Hundreds of times throughout your life, depending on how well you're getting along and how much you're investing in the relationship. Feeling in love is something you can enjoy and continue to rekindle over the years, but it should not determine your commitment level to your marriage. Agape love, on the other hand, is unselfish, unconditional, and unstoppable. It is based upon choice and commitment, not feelings. So unless this kind of love forms the foundation of your marriage, the wear and tear of time could destroy it. A gape love is in sickness and health love, for richer or poorer love, for better or worse love. It is the only kind of love that is lasting, unchanging, true love. That's because this is God's kind of love. He doesn't love us because we are lovable, but because he is so loving. And this is love. Not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the proposition for our sins. 1 John 4.10. Did I read that right? No. Propitation? Propia? Propa? Prop... Just go ahead. Propitation. 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 If he insisted that we prove ourselves worthy of his love, we would fail miserably. But his love is a choice he makes completely on his own. It's something we receive from him and then share with others. We love because he first loved us. 1 John 4, 19. If a man says to his wife, I no longer love you, he is actually saying, I never loved you unconditionally to begin with. Hmm. I've never said... Ooh. Wait. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you said it. No, no. I hate you. I say I hate you, but in, in, in girl talk, that means I love you so much. Yeah. You yeah. said you girls, don't love me no girls, more. Girls, girls. When you tell a man you hate them, does that mean you don't love them anymore? I'll wait for that. You've told me that you don't love me anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the midst of a bad argument words will get tossed around and it gets pretty nasty it's been a long time though since we've well that's the result of building a marriage huh. on filios or eros love there must be a stronger foundation than mere friendship or sexual attraction unconditional love agape love will not be swayed by time or circumstance that's not to say that love which began for the wrong reasons cannot be restored and redeemed. In fact, when you rebuild your marriage with a gape as its foundation, the friendship and romantic aspects of your love become more endearing than ever before. When your enjoyment of each other's when your enjoyment of each other's as both best friends and lovers is based on unwavering commitment, you will experience an intimacy that cannot be achieved in any other way. Thank you, Kimberly. I agree. She says, I'm married 27 years, and I have definitely said I hate you so many times. I love him always. Hmm. 
See? Good stuff. Good stuff. But so when the man hears that, I mean... That means let's go out and get some strange. No. No, uh, no, yeah. no that's oh, not what that means. Yeah, you're like, hey, hey, you did, I didn't you. It means you're on thin ice. Yeah. Which one did you just read? Right there? Right yes. Right. But you will struggle and ultimately fail to attain this kind of marriage unless you first allow God to begin establishing and growing his love within you. Love that bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. 1 Corinthians 3.17 does not come from within. It can only come from God. 1 John 4, 7 through 16. Nice. The scriptures say that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, Ooh, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from God's love, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans eight thirty eight through 39. This is God's kind of love. And thankfully, by your choice, it can become your kind of love. But first, you must receive it and share it. And then, regardless of circumstances and feelings, you and your spouse can begin living confidently and securely under its shade. You will no longer say, I love you because... You will now say, I love you, period. Period. Today's dare. Do something out of the ordinary today for your spouse. Something that proves to you and to them that your love is based on your choice and nothing else. Wash her car. Whoa. Clean the kitchen. I would rather you change my oil. Oh. You've been pushing saying, it. You have been telling me you would change the oil oh, forever. That's so low to the ground. Whatever. It's hard to crawl Clean the that kitchen. Thing. Buy his favorite <laughs> dessert. Fold the laundry. Demonstrate love to them for the sheer joy of being their partner in marriage. Hmm. So yesterday's dare, we didn't even pray in. Well, we can. We pray did all right for out. it. We'll pray out. It said, "Think of a specific way you'd like to greet your spouse today. Do it with a smile and with enthusiasm. Then determine to change your greeting to daily reflect more love for them." When and where did you choose to do your special greeting? How did your mate respond to it? How will you change your greeting from this point on? Angela, it's your fault that you did not remind us to pray in. You remind me every day. You failed me. It went well. I think we, we did good. Uh, yeah, we did. I don't think we greeted each other. Maybe no, when we you were... came home from work, I was like, I did greet you when you came yeah, home from work. We were... Not with a kiss or nothing like that. I mean, that's we were... kind of pushing it. But We were nice to each other. We were nice to each other. When I came home from yeah. work. So. Yeah. Good day. I let you sleep. I took her outside. We gardened and played. It's good news. Yeah. So you got to rest. Yeah. Because you got up so early to work for this family. Yes, I did. Pay the electric. I paid my part of the electric. I don't know where uh, you're getting... Then I guess I paid my part then. Did you... How, did you, how much money did you give her? 60 yesterday, 75 today. 75. That's like electric. Yeah. That's exactly. your part of electric, uh -huh. not my part too. So. so we're going to... But she can pay my oh, part yeah. rent. So if you've been watching this and following along or participating in the dares and the challenges, mm -hmm. tomorrow do something that you usually don't do for your significant other. And I think I'll do your... My oil. Change your oil. I'll do I something. I need it because, I mean, come on, it's just sitting there. But what, are you, what could oil. you do for me that's... I know Something what you, you want, but it's not going to happen. No? No, I am following the Lord. I am not going to sin on him right now. Not during Corona season. No. No, 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 no. Well, no. I haven't been pushing hard to... She did say, should we have another baby? And I was like, yes, right now. <laughs> yes, I, I'm all in right now. But... I think we need to I wait. I'm sorry, I get it. You're making... I'm sorry. Uh, so let's pray out. And uh, dear Lord, thank you for letting us come together. We are grateful to be close and working on a relationship. Uh, we're praying for everyone that watches these videos with us, that you restore and rekindle their relationship as well as ours. And please protect us and guide us in the right direction. 
and open doors for us and help everyone that's struggling financially, mentally, spiritually, and physically. So, amen. Amen. All right, we did good. We did. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to, uh, what's it called? Chain Reactions. Make sure you subscribe to Chain Reactions. Make sure you like, comment, hit that little bell so you get a notification every time he uploads. Absolutely. And um, make sure you subscribe and let us know so you can get entered into the barn door giveaway. Not sure when we're going to do the, um, yes, the so, drawing for that. But so the evening that we are completed with the Love Dare, yes, I will be announcing the challenge. who wins the barn door. Yeah. I'm going to build it and post pictures of it in the next couple of days. That please, weeks. I almost did it today, so almost. So everybody will see what they are. Um, I mean, you I mean all you're doing is clicking a button, so it's not a. There's no subscribe. way you can. And then next, I'm gonna be doing a table, so I think this will be exciting. It'll be kind of a little initiative to. I will never let you give away a table, but you if can I see. make it completely for that free, nice. yeah. I love him. He's not giving away a table. You'll see. I'm about tired of you talking Stay about this Stay tuned. And that will never happen. <laughs> That's so funny. It is so funny. All right. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>